If you have ever taken a flight in a helicopter, you'll be surprised by how easy it is for them to get around. And it seems like they can fly just about anywhere and to any location. But is this really the case? Can helicopters truly fly and land anywhere they want to? Hello and welcome to another aircraft compare question and answer video. In this series, I am answering your questions and trying to explain them in a way anyone can understand. The question I'm answering today is, can helicopters just land anywhere they want? If you own a helicopter, can you just land it in your backyard and fly anywhere you want? Let's answer some of these questions today. First off, I will discuss a few examples of where you might want to land your helicopter. If you pilot a helicopter and wish to land somewhere in a residential area, you have to make sure you get the permission of the homeowner or business owner whose spot you'll be landing on. You also have to check for any local or state ordinances so you don't get in trouble. As long as no ordinances or laws are broken, helicopters can usually land in residential areas. Helicopters are not under the same rule as airplanes are, which have to fly a minimum of 1000 feet above congested areas and 500 feet everywhere else. Most businesses have parking lots for their customers, and if you're wondering, can helicopters land in parking lots? The answer is a little different than landing in residential areas. For the most part, landing a helicopter in a parking lot is prohibited, except in the case of an emergency. When landing in a parking lot, you must have the owner's permission ahead of time, and the reasons why are obvious. Landing in a parking lot can cause damages to nearby windshields and light posts, so even if a pilot has permission to land there, he or she should have the expertise to do so safely. If not, that pilot can count on the landing being expensive, because paying for light posts and windshields is not something that only costs a little bit of money. In true emergencies where permission ahead of time is not possible, you can land in a parking lot if you have no other options available. Can helicopters land on water? This is an important question because it is often necessary for helicopters to do just that. For the most part, a helicopter can land on the water safely. However, most of them cannot stay on top of the water for long periods of time without the proper equipment. Many helicopters have to have floats or a buoyant sealed hull to land safely on the water. In addition, many of them are too top heavy to shut down completely and then restart while in the water. Some military helicopters are specifically designed to land on water. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook, for example, is nicknamed the boat for its ability to land on water, but even this mighty chopper is unable to restart in the water, because instead it would simply roll over due to the torque forces on the rotor system. If you have ever wondered, can helicopters land at an airport? The answer is a very simple yes. Helicopters do, however, have to abide by the same rules and restrictions as airplanes do. Many airports have different rules for helicopters than they do for airplanes, and some airports, such as Heathrow in London, restrict them. Now back to our main question, can helicopters land anywhere they want? The answer is that with few exceptions, helicopters can land their aircraft just about anywhere they want to. There are some FAA restrictions, of course, and you'll have to check any state or local restrictions as well. But as a general rule, helicopters are allowed to land almost anywhere. So in summary, as long as a helicopter has the permission of the owner, has enough space to land a copter, and obeys all local laws and restrictions, it can land nearly anywhere it wants to land. Most helicopter pilots are specifically trained to land in a variety of spaces, including those listed above. Have you ever seen a helicopter landing in an unusual location or been a passenger on a helicopter? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video as much as I like making it, give it a like and share it with a friend. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.